yes good morning students today again we are going to discuss active and passive voice the last topic interrogative sentences yesterday we did we discussed the interrogative type sentences which have the answer yes or no type and now today we are going to discuss wh type of questions here in the interrogative how wh type of questions change into passive voice okay this is the last topic of this active and passive voice So last topic of active and passive voice. So listen and pay attention. First sentence. Suppose our sentence says, "How can you save the city? How can you save the city?" Okay. This is our sentence. Now listen here. How can you save the city? How as it is, we will write it. Okay. Can changes into can be no other thing is there. So can also be write it as it is. How can be? This is our subject, main verb in the first form and object. So we will first take the object. How can the city? How can the city be saved? Be saved by you. So can you do the yes or no type questions? The same you have to do it. After taking W H as it is, the same way you have to do as you have done yesterday. Yes or no type of question. Can you save the city? The same we are doing. Can the city be saved by who? Okay. And how as it is? W H type we will take it as it is. As it is here in the answer. Okay. Then we will say, can you save the city? Can the city be saved by you? And there will be a question mark. Okay. Next sentence. Why are making making a plan? Why are you making a plan? Okay. Now why are you making a plan? Listen here. Why will be answered please? Okay. Why? Are you making? Is yes, this is our present continuous tense? Okay. Are and I am the forms. So present continuous tense. In present continuous tense, we have object plus is being, are being, or am being, depending upon the object. Okay. And then main verb in the third form. Okay. So why are you making a plan? A plan is our object main verb in the full form. This is our auxiliary verb and subject. We get it. Subject auxiliary verb, main verb in the four form. A plan, object. Now, since it is an interrogative sentence, so we will take first auxiliary verb depending upon the object. But here the object is singular, so we will use my things. Then object, a plan, being, being. We will add it here after the. Object. So auxiliary verb after the object being is the auxiliary verb plus being because it is the continuous tense. Okay. Why is the plan being main verb in the third form? Made. Make it change into made by you. Why is the plan being made by you? So again, this WH type of question as it is, we will take it in the answer. And depending upon the object, we will use the auxiliary verb since it is a continuous. So after the object being reduced, main verb in the third form in the passive voice and by the subject. Why are you making a plan? So why is the plan being made by you? Third sentence. Where have you? Where have you kept the book? Okay, where have you kept the book? Now listen here. Have is here and neither in the third form. Okay, so this sentence it, it is in present perfect tense. So in present perfect tense, when we change into passive voice, has been or have been, depending upon the object, you have to take it. So if the object is singular, you will use it has been, 
and if the object is plural or I, at that time you will use have been. Now listen here, have you kept? Who is the subject? Auxiliary verb. Okay, main verb is the third form and the book is the object. But the book is here singular. Okay, so here will be as it is here. Then we have to put the auxiliary verb because it is an interrogative sentence. Okay, but before object we will put the auxiliary verb depending upon the object. Object is singular. So we will use where as the book be it have has I had in the passive voice we use be so where has the book be kept by you okay where has the book depending upon the object we have used the auxiliary word and we have has an had be is used so we have used the be main verb as it is in the third form but plus subject because in present perfect tense, main verb is already in the third form. So we don't have to change the main verb. As it is, we will put it down. Okay? So only we have to see the object, whether it is singular or plural. So if the object is singular, that's why here we have used has. Okay? Because object is singular. Okay? We have used has and with has been, have been. After object, we will add been. Only in the interrogative sentence, not in the assertive form of the sentence. We will not add. Okay, only in the interrogative sentence we will add been after the object. Otherwise, you have kept the book. The book has been kept by you. If it is the assertive sentence, then it will be has been, have been, had been, will be together used. Okay, four sentences. When will he teach a lesson? Okay, you got it. This now this is simple future tense. He will teach a lesson. It is simple future tense. In simple future tense, simple future tense auxiliary verbs are shall and will. Shall for the first person that is for the I and he, and will for the second and third person. So here it is third person. So we have to use will. Again, object is also our third person. Okay, subject auxiliary verb. And we will in the first one. This is our simple future tense. And if we change the simple future tense into passive voice, object plus will be or shall be main verb in the third one. And then by the subject. Now, since it is an interrogative, the worst type question we will put it as it is can will. Because of our object is a lesson. A lesson is third person. Can will be a lesson. Can be a lesson be taught, taught by him. Him is our subject there. Okay. So here is in your plan as it is, we have taken it. Then he will teach a lesson. This is our assertion. Will he teach a lesson? Will a lesson be taught by him? We have to take object. Okay. After auxiliary verb, we will take object. Then whatever added from auxiliary verb, that we will add it and then we will work between the third form and bar plus subject. Here bar plus subject because he will change into him. Okay, now next sentence. Again, we will see the next sentence. Yes. What are you doing? Okay. Again, this sentence it is in present continuous tense. What are you doing? Okay. Now, what are you doing? Here we don't have your subject, we have, but you don't have the object. Suppose the sentence is you are doing something. So something is being done by you. So that is understood here. Here we get the subject, auxiliary verb, and being verb in the fourth form. No object is there. But what is acting here as an object? What is 
be done by you. What is being done by you? Here, what is acting as an object there? So, is being with it together there. Because no object is there. Okay, that's why is being is together. Done being done in the third form and by plus some. Okay, so we are taking it as granted that what is acting as an object, that's why we have done what is being done by you. Now, next sentence. I have been lost the match. Okay, why have they lost the match? Again, this is interrogative sentence, but taking the WH, that is the why. Why have they lost the match? Now, they is our subject, have is ordinary verb, main verb in the third form in the present perfect tense. And the match is our object. Now, as I told you in the present perfect tense, we use two auxiliary verbs, have and has. So, in your case, plural, so have is used, but our object is singular. So, we have to use has been in the passive voice. Okay? So, why we can use my has the match be lost by them. Okay, by, by has the match been lost by them. Now we have seen here why we have used has because our object is singular. So it, since it is a interrogative form, we will use been not together with the has been. Okay, so we will use after the object because object is given there. If object is not given then here as we have used together. But if object is given, then first we have to put the object, then we will add B. Okay, next sentence. Yes, after next sentence. Seven sentence. How can we solve this sum? Okay, how can he solve this sum? Now listen here, how can he solve? How has it been? We take it last time we have seen it. How? Can he solve this sum? Can we change into can we? So here, how can this sum? Be solved by him. Okay. How can this sum be solved by him? So can has changed into can be. Only can be two together. We don't use it because it is an interrogative sentence and object is given there. So we talk to the river be will be used after the object. Okay. In the same manner, we have to do it. Okay. Now, some questions I will give you as homework. Because now we have completed our interrogative B section, that is the WH type question. So, yesterday we have done yes or no type of questions. It starts with the auxiliary verbs. Have you done the work? So, has the done? Has the work been done by you? In this way, we have started. But here, the WH type of question is given here. So, we have Put out the WH as it is downwards and we have to solve it. But just like yesterday, we have done it. We have to do it in the same manner. Okay. Now, suppose of who we have done it. Next sentence. Who played broke the window? Who broke the glass? Who broke the glass? So, here there is one difference. Who will change into by whom? First, we will use by whom. Okay? By whom. Who will change into by whom? Only the difference is who is different from others. Who will change into by whom? Because who is acting as a subject here? Who broke the window? 
Who is by whom? By whom? Now listen here. Broke the glass. Broke the glass means that it is in the simple past tense. So simple past tense sentence in the passive voice we use was or were depending upon the object. So here the object object is our singular. So by whom was the glass broken? Okay. By whom was the glass broken? That is auxiliary verb. Object, main verb in the third form, and by the subject. This is who is acting as the subject there. As in the what are you doing? There, what is acting as a subject? It is acting, pretending to be the subject. Here, who is the subject itself? So, by whom we have done it first? By whom was the glass broken? And before the object, we have to use the auxiliary verb because it is an interrogative sentence. Listen here, if we say, "Is it?" And there is a question mark, and if we say it is, then there will be a first stop. So, is it means auxiliary verb and then noun pronoun. So, first auxiliary verb and then noun pronoun. So, it will be a question mark as we have done it here. Was and then the object. Okay. But if we do it is, yes, that is the asserting sentence. That is the difference between interrogative and asserting sentence. Suppose our next question is who has. Done. Now what? Again, who will change into by whom? Okay, who will change into by whom? Wherever you will see in the interrogative, who you will change it into by whom? By whom? Now our object is also singular. Here, who is also singular? So by whom has the verb has the verb be done? And there will be question mark because by whom is acting as the subject first only. By whom has the verb after object we use been because we have as an had we have to use been. So by whom has the verb been done? This will be our sentence. Okay, so only that is the difference between who and others. Now my second examples to solve it. Okay, you have to do it by yourself. Now taking. All the tenses, then imperative sentence, order auxiliaries, interrogative sentence, take all those things into consideration. We will have the questions for the homework, and here we have ended our topic. So this is for practice. Okay, so write down the questions. First one. I did I put the glass? I am speaking French. So in this way, different tenses will be given at different types of. Sentences are there. Okay, I am teaching here. We we teach our many languages. I am speaking French. He has given a. Again, fifth one. He has given me my name. Next one. Please, 
Could you spend some money? This is there. I shall paint the wall. Okay, this type of sentence will get is that. Why we do these two things here? So now we have completed the copy. We have changed the voice, active passive voice. We have done it, and sometimes I will give you passive to active also to solve it. So you have to solve passive to active voice also. Okay. So this is the topic we have ended active and passive voice and all the types of sentences we have done. It. Now revise go through the notes, and I think so it will be very much clear to you how to solve it active and passive voice. Okay. So students, we will meet in the next. We will start with the next lesson. So tomorrow we are going to start with the next lesson from the textbook. So today we have completed our active and passive voice. Yes. Bye everyone. Take care. Take care everyone.